Mmm, let's add some tasty snacks and let's add custom food to Minecraft. Alright, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more and in this tutorial we're going to be adding a custom food item to Minecraft. Now this is actually, once again, a fairly straightforward process, all things considered. So, in our mod items class, we would usually add the item. However, because we need a food component for this, what we're going to do is we're actually going to make a new class. In our item package, right click new Java class called the mod foods. And inside of here, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to press the shift key twice and then we're going to type in foods. Now we're going to make sure that we check this box right here. And then under net Minecraft world food, we double click on this, we can actually see all of the food properties that all of the vanilla items have. So you can see, for example, and in Apple here has, you know, first of all, we're making a new builder here and it has four nutrition and 0.3 saturation. And then we can go further down. So for example, the chicken, if you eat raw chicken, what, ha what can happen is that you get the hunger effect with a 30% probability. So that's pretty much all that there is to it. So all of the vanilla value is once again available to you right here. So it's pretty much all available in the foods class. So there's no issue whatsoever. So what we can just do even is we can just copy over the apple right here just for the sake of argument. And this is going to be actually the cucumber. So this is going to be the food that we're going to add. And maybe we're going to say, you know what? I, you know, actually the nutrition is maybe a little bit too much. So let's say two. So one nutrition is half a hunger leg and the saturation is what happens in the background. So how long you actually stay saturated for. And then we could also, for example, add an effect. We've seen this in the foods here, right? You just call the effect. You make a new mob effect instance. You pass in the particular effect. This here is the num like time in ticks. And then this is the amplifier. So this is the level at which is this, this is being added. So a zero would basically mean level one. And this is then the probability. And that's actually how easy it is to add an effect. What's always important is that you add the dot build at the very end. This always has to happen. And that is pretty much all that you need to do. If you want multiple ones, you just copy it, you know, give it a different name because of course the fields have to have unique names. And that is pretty much all that you need to do to add some food properties. Now I'm actually happy with this food property. Maybe what I also want to do is I also want this to be able to be eaten fast. So I'm going to add the fast one here as well. And then I can add the item. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy over the raw citrine right here. And we're going to change this to, of course, the cucumber. And then the name is also going to be cucumber. And then this is a new item, completely normal. And then after the tab here, we want to call the food method and we're going to say mod foods dot cucumber. And that's it. That's how easy it is to add a food item. And of course, we still need the translation and of course, also the item model JSON file. That is, of course, you know, just a normal thing. Let's just copy this over. This is, of course, also all available to you in the description below. Get a repository and individual gist as well. Now, this should be very self-explanatory. The translation here. Same with the actual item model JSON file, because let's be honest, this is a normal item model JSON file, like we've seen a couple of times already now. So this is nothing too crazy. It just points to a texture in the textures folder instead of the item folder. And this is just going to be the cucumber texture. Let's also copy that one over. And there we are. And now everything has been added successfully. So now, Let's see if it works. All right, we find ourselves back in Minecraft. And as you can see, the cucumber has been successfully added to the game. And let's just eat one. And you can see that it actually eats very fast. Because, of course, we've, you know, called the fast method right there. And you saw that it restores exactly one hunger bar to exactly. So we can see, let's eat another one. There you go. And that is it. So that's actually how easy it can be to add a custom food item to Minecraft. Right, once again, of course, all of the code is available to you in the description below. Get a repository and individual gist as well. But that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So, yeah.